Time now for the next big award. It's the NDTV Indian of the Year Award for the Business Leader of the Year. And to give away the award for the Business Leader of the Year, can I just invite onto the stage somebody who's having an absolutely fantastic run, two films in which she has really completely made a mark for herself. Kangana or not, please do John come on and join us to give away this award. Now, presumably the Business Leader of the Year is not going to be following the Revolver Rani style. But can I, can I invite onto the stage to receive this award, Rajiv Bajaj. Invite Mr. Rahul Bajaj onto the onto the stage as well. We just have a couple of chairs because I think I think we did. I think you both have done an interview together. You've sat on the stage together five years back, and it was on NDTV. So I'm going to take the occasion to get you here one more time. So as I said, I think you've only sat down for an interview like this, but you both were together once before, which was my, my colleague Shweta Raj Falkoli. And at that time, I think you said you were somewhat hurt and upset that he actually shut down the scooter business. And you replied to him in saying that business shouldn't be emotional. Uh, you still feel that way? Five years later? About being emotional or not, or about having shut down the scooter business? Both. I think logic and emotion should go together, otherwise you are in trouble in life, whether in business or otherwise. But I still believe that the scooter production should not have stopped. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you are. You haven't been able to change his mind yet, despite all the results that you've been giving otherwise. Abhi dekhe, uh, Mr. Swarabji just said, people have to be a little more tolerant, a little more open. <laughs> so that, that extends to tolerance and openness to your son, right, when he's trying to do something different. Charity begins at home. Okay, now, the rest of what he's done, I mean, he has really done a lot and transformed the business. How, how do you take uh, all the major initiatives he's being taken? Now he's here as business person of the year. You see, he doesn't let me interfere, uh, Vikram, in the business, and I presume and hope he knows that he's there because of me, I'm not there because of him. <laughs> Till he does in totality, good for the company, which he's doing outstandingly, I must admit, though I'd hate to say that in his presence. Uh, he will stay there. I don't think anybody else in India that I know can do a better job in Bajaj Auto as its CEO. But when I find, uh, especially ethically, on which I think is as strong, if not stronger than I am, or in any other way, it's not good for the shareholders and the other stakeholders of the company, my individual decisions come and go. I mean, I've made many mistakes in my life. If in totality he's not good for the company, I'll have to have a talk with him. With you great have amount a talk of charity with him. in that, my that, mind. That sounds rather frightening, a talk with him. You want to define what that talk would be? Sorry? You said you'll have a talk with him. With that charity in my mind and a great heart, not just a 56 inch chest, but a great heart, I heard somebody say. <laughs> okay, so 56 inch chest and a cane in your hand. Okay, he, he said you don't allow him to interfere in the, in the business. Is that, that actually is sometimes a good thing to do, right? When there's a transition, you say, allow me to do it and that generation shift has happened now, allow me to run the business. Is that, has that been a big, something which you've, you've insisted on? Vikram, I think what has happened is that the context in which we compete has changed. And as Darwin said, you have to adapt. Uh, it's not about the stronger one or the more intelligent one, you have to adapt. So I think uh, we have now moved to an era in the last 10 years or so where business is global. You know, and uh, one marketing principle I believe in is this, that you can either operate in one market and then do lots of different things, whether you're making movies or motorcycles or, or what have you. But if you want to be global, you have to be really good at one thing. So I made my choice that uh, Bajaj is going to be a global company. Um, 10 years back, we exported almost nothing. Today, almost half of what we make is exported. Um, and if you want to be a global specialist, then by definition, you have to sacrifice. 
uh, somebody, uh, uh, Ustad Saab referred to Sachin Tendulkar. When he plays cricket, he has sacrificed every other sporting opportunity. So if Bajaj has to be a global motorcycle specialist, we can't be making some mopeds and scooters and all this kind of stuff on the side. All this kind of stuff. I don't want to argue with my son. After all, he's my but son. You know, that's my, it's uh, my job to make you argue, especially but he on national television. Realize that, uh, he should realize that, but uh, others should know that nobody practiced, leave alone preached, core competence, focus, etc., more than I did. From 1966, 67, till I handed over to him in 2000, we only made two and three wheelers. Happily, essentially scooters and three wheelers and a little bit of motorcycle. Nothing else. And the amount of profits we made, amount of cash flow we had, everybody told us, why don't you do this and this and this, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I did not. Difference between him and me is, he's focused on motorcycles, but also three wheelers, and now he's bringing out a four wheeler. And I said, what was wrong with the scooter? Where we were king of the road. But that time, the market was changing from scooter to motorcycle. And uh, we were really a scooter manufacturer, a hero, and others were. See, I even named my competitor. I'm a very charitable man. Uh, uh, they were really motorcycle manufacturers. So to that extent, there was logic because we couldn't do everything. Our R&D couldn't do everything. But whether now he goes into it or not is for him to decide. He's the CEO. But for the moment, I mean, look at, look at that, that award which was there in his hands. So you must be proud of all that he has achieved. I'm proud of him and his team, and I'm proud of all my three children, very much so. <laughs> all right. Just a quick sense before I allow you to go. We're in the middle of a very important election. Uh, the economy hasn't necessarily been going through a good phase. Actually, it's been a pretty awful phase. Do you think things are about to change and turn around, or, or no, not yet? It's too early to say that. See, I always believe as a manager, my job is not to worry about the system, but to work in the system. You know, even in the present economy, you have a terrible sector like the aviation sector, where you have an airline like Indigo that can't do anything wrong. You have a pharma sector that has a few hiccups, but look at Sun Pharma. You, last three years, the IT sector went up and down a bit, but TCS did so well. So I think in every sector, you find that there are one or two companies uh, that beat the trend and, and do very well. And therefore, it's less about what's outside of you. It's, it's more about how strong and astute your own strategy is. So I really don't worry that much about the economy. I worry about my motorcycles. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us and many congratulations. <laughs>